Hello, this is Grace with Solutions with another amazing tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to import multimedia content into your vMix. Now by multimedia content, I mean music, videos and images. So if you're ready, let's dive right into the video. Alright, so the very first thing we're going to do is that we're going to add in a video into our vMix software. Okay, so to do that, I go to where I have add input, the add input button, which is this very button here. And then I click it and yeah it gives me a lot of options so as you can see we have a ton of options here DVD list camera in there desktop capture instant replay video delay images photos and a lot of options okay so the first thing I'm gonna do since I want to import my video or a video I go to where I have video which is this very option I click it I, I ensure that it is active and then I go to um, I hit browse right here Okay, so I click browse and then it takes me to my computer where um, I have a list of the video I wish to use for my live stream. And then I, let's say this is the video I want to use, I select this and I click open. Okay, and then when I'm done, I go right ahead and click OK right here. Okay, now you can select the number of overlay you want to put your video in, okay. But I just want to leave it at the default which is 1 and then I click OK. All right, so as you can see, let me just go ahead and miss the audio. So as you can see, we have successfully imported our video into our VMIX. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to import an image. Okay. All right, so to do that, we repeat the same process. Okay, we go to right here where we have our add input. Okay, I click my add input right here, which is this. And then it gives us like we did in the first option a ton of options or a, a ton of options rather and then I go to where I have image okay now you can import if you have uh, you can import in um, like a complete folder of images so if you want to do like a slideshow okay you can also do that in your vmix by um, going to you import uh, you select the photos option instead of image okay but this image option is if you just want to import okay just a single image all right so i go right ahead and click image and then i navigate to where i have uh, browse right here and then i click browse and then i go to my computer where i have i can just put any image um okay you can choose an image image of your choice and then i can i Want to use this image this thumbnail and then i go ahead ahead and I click open and then when i'm done okay next time i'm going to hit okay all right so as you can see this is the image we just imported okay um so i'm sure you have been following from this video if you are please give this video a like share this video with your friends and also subscribe to my channel so so far so good we have, we have successfully imported um a video right here and then we have also imported our images okay so i'm going to swap it um okay so i want the image to be um to to be live okay to be streamed so whatever is appearing here okay this is the output window and this is the preview window right here okay as you can see this is colored green and this is orange okay so the one that's on the green is it means that's what has been displayed to your audience okay so the next thing i'm going to do is that we're going to add a song okay music okay so like we did in the first two cases we're going to repeat the same process i'm going to go to add input and then you navigate to um okay to where we want to we want to add the music okay so let's go to where we then click audio all right so we go to audio and then now you you have um, two options you can either select the audio file as an um, an mp3 file or a wav file okay so we have i have a ton of mp3 options here so i go right ahead and i click browse okay so this is the okay so these are some of the audio files i have on my computer okay so i just go right ahead and click any of them okay and then i go right down here and i click open all right so the next thing we're going to do to to complete the process of importation we click okay 
So as you can see, we have also imported our audio sound. So I'm just going to play this to see if it's actually working. Okay, so that's the music or the song we just imported and it's playing in the background, okay? So I'm just going to go right ahead and mix the audio. All right, so one more tip. Um, I'm going to show you how to add a color bar to your transmission in the VMIX. Now, why do you have to add a color bar to your transmission? Now, sometimes before you go live, you can add a color bar to your uh, transmission to inform your audience that you're about going live. And also, when the transmission is over, you can also use um, the color bar, okay, to end your stream. Like, it, it also informs your audience that the transmission is successfully over. Now, to add your color bar to your transmission in VMIX, okay, you go once again to where you have your add input, right here, and then you click it, and then navigate to where you have a color, okay, it gives you three options here, color, color bars, and transparent. So I go with the color bars, and then I go down and I click OK. So as you can see, we have successfully added our color bar, okay, so Let's assume I want to I want to go live okay on YouTube or Facebook or whatever platform I want to stream to. So I start with my color bar and yeah. And then when the transmission has started, okay, I switch now to my I switch now to my video or to my content, the content I want to stream. And also when the transmission is ended or has ended, I use my color bar again to also inform my audience that the transmission has successfully ended. Okay, so I'm sure you enjoyed this video. Okay, we are, you have successfully learned how to import different multimedia content into your VMIX. So if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the, in the comment section. And um, of course, I will attend to them as soon as possible. Okay, so thanks for watching once again. And yeah, please subscribe to my channel, okay, for more graphic design and internet and software tips, tricks, and tutorials. So till I see you in my next video, take care and stay safe.